In this video lesson, we're going to be looking at bound controls on an access form. There are three types of controls on a form. There is bound, which means that it's linked to the data source in the table. Unbound, which means it's not linked to the data source. And a calculated form, which as the name suggests, means you can do a calculation based on the data on the form. The ones we're going to be looking at now are the bound controls. I've got a table of data here, which is just properties that are available with the location, the type of premises and the price. And some other fields that are blank, but don't worry about them being blank at the moment. Remember, a table is just a placeholder. You should be accessing your data through a form. So let's create a form for that data. We'll use the wizard, which is the easy way to create a form. And then we choose the table we want to be working with and then the available fields. And we just move across the ones that we know we want to use on a particular form. I'm only going to move three fields across because they're the only ones with data at the moment. Plus, I want to show you how to access these ones. Uh, once we're into design view. So then we carry through the wizard, choosing the layout, choosing your design or style, and then finally giving it a proper name, something that makes sense. And then you finish your wizard, and there is the form created for you. Fields, and we can use these navigation buttons to move through the data. Let's have a look at this in design view now. Let's make things a little bit bigger for us to see. In design view, all the objects that you can see on the form are controls of one kind or another. These particular controls, because they're linked to the data source, in other words, we can see data in these objects when we're in normal view. They are bound controls. In order to work with controls, we need to access the toolbox. Now the toolbox is just a toolbar like any other, but we can access it using the toolbox icon. Once we have the toolbox icon selected, the toolbox toolbar I like mine to be floating around on the screen, but it might be anchored. So if you can't see it, have a good look around. And then if it is anchored, I suggest you click and drag it available for you. There are lots of types of controls that you can add to your form. We'll be looking at one or two of these. For example, you could use that one to put a picture on. The two that you should already be familiar with from um, the basic ECDL course is the label and text box. A label allows you to add text onto the form that is static and will always be there. And then when you look at that, label is there it will never change it's simply text it's a label and we use that using the aa label control the other one you should be familiar with is the ab text box bound controls with data in them have got to be a text box now then you should already be familiar with adding fields to your form. And for that, we need the field list icon. And that brings up a list of all the fields that are available in this particular form. In order to add a field to the form, we simply click and drag and place that on the form. And there we've created a county field 
and if we switch into view we can see the data but of course there's no data in the county field and we could just type information into there and that will be stored in our database Okay, so I've deleted that field to show you how we can use a control to more effect. We need our toolbox. And this time we're going to use a combo box control. Always make sure when you're using these controls to have the control wizard switched on. That really does help. Doing these things manually is really quite tricky. So we're going to choose a combo box. And you click and drag the control wherever you want it to be positioned on your form. And the combo box wizard appears with various choices for us to make. You may remember we looked at on tables how to link to another table to look up values. So, for example, instead of continually typing the county, we could have a table with the counties already in and then look up that value from a field that was linked. This is really the same system. We can use this system to look up the county, the information that we want to go into the combo box, from a value in another table. So that's what we did previously. You can also type in the values, and I'll come back to this third option um, at a later date. So I'm going to type in the values that we want for this section and click on next. And then we simply type in the values that we want to be available in the combo box. Once we've finished typing that information in, and these fields can be widened or narrowed appropriately. Then we click on next to carry on through the wizard. Now this is an interesting option. We can either remember the value for later use or store the value in the field. And we can choose which field to store that information in. Now clearly in this instance we're storing counties so it would be really useful to store that information in the table so that it would be available elsewhere. If we don't store it in the field, but remember it, then it remembers it on this form, but it wouldn't be available elsewhere in the database. So more often than not, this is the most useful function here, to store the value in the field. Carry on through the wizard, give the information a sensible name, and then finish the wizard. Sorry, that last section was not uh, storing the information name. It was giving the information for this label that's attached to, um, to our control. So our typed in county, we've now got a county label. So we've got the control in. Let's switch to form view and have a look at what that looks like. We can now see we've got our record. We've got a county field that we can choose the county from. That information will be stored in the table. Obviously, if there's information already in the table, it picks that up as well and displays it. Let's find a record there without a county associated to it. And of course, that really minimizes data entry. Back into design view. That was a combo box, a really useful feature. I won't show you it, but I'll just tell you about list box because it's almost identical. The difference is instead of clicking a drop down arrow to choose from, all the options are available listed on the screen and you select the one that you want from the list. The remainder of the list doesn't disappear. All those options are continually available. It's just that you can select the ones from that list. I don't tend to use that. I like the combo box, but it's really a very similar item. 